today we meet again for another lesson and this is for the English language and we are discussing SPM Try Paper. It is for Paper 1. Okay, we are going to look at Try Paper 1. The code is triple one nine stroke one and this is the paper for the year 2020 and it is from the state of Johor. The lesson is on directed writing and then directed writing is section A, the marks 35 and time suggested 45 minutes. Let's look at the question. You are a member of the counselling club of your school. In a discussion with your club members, you notice that after the long break, there are some problems faced by the students in their studies. Using the notes below, write a letter to the school principal to highlight this matter, providing a few suggestions. So, remember that you are a member of the counselling club. You are going to write about problems faced by students and then you have to give suggestions. So let's look at the notes. Back to school, so you have problems and also suggestions. Problems are school facilities, some not working, poor attendance, financial, no money to eat, school work not completed, low motivation and discipline not observed. And then the suggestions, check, repair facilities, house visits, financial assistance, contact parents and then you have to give your own idea and also another one, again your own idea. Let's look at the content points. C1, school facilities. Some not working. C2, poor attendance. C3, financial, no money to eat. C4, school work not completed. C5, low motivation. And C6, discipline not observed. So these are the problems. And then look at C7, check repair facilities. C8, house visits. C9, financial assistance. C10, contact parents. C11, your own idea. And C12, your own idea. So these are the suggestions. When writing the letter, you should remember to lay out the letter correctly. Addresses, date, salutation, title, closing. Use all the points given. And then, give your own ideas when needed. Note, for your letter, you will receive up to 15 marks for the format and content points and up to 20 marks for the quality of your writing. So, format 1 will be addresses, senders address, recipient address, and also the date. F2 will be the salutation and the title, and then F3 or format 3 will be the conclusion or closing. This is the format for informal letter. So first of all, let's look at the address of sender uh, for example counseling club smk kalisa 1 30000 saramba negeri sembilan and then you have to have a line followed by address of recipient the principal smk kalisa 1 30000 saramba negeri sembilan and then don't forget the date spell the month for example march in uppercase or capital letters and then you have your salutation dear sir followed by the title some problems faced by students in their studies and then you can write the introduction for example i'm writing this letter to then when you go to the contents one to content 12 remember that this is uh the starting of the second paragraph so you must have the number like number two for the second paragraph number three for the third paragraph and so on and then lastly i hope will be the conclusion don't forget to write thank you and then sign off okay there should be yours faithfully and then your signature the introduction there are a few examples as the representative for the counselling club, I'm writing this letter to highlight some problems faced by the students in their studies. Second example, 
I am representing the counselling club. I wish to highlight some problems faced by the students in their studies. The next one, I, on behalf of the counselling club, am writing this letter to highlight some problems faced by the students in their studies. Or you can write, I'm writing to highlight some problems faced by the students in their studies. You can say, I wish to highlight some problems faced by the students in their studies. Okay, representative is someone who speaks or do or does something officially for another person or group of people. Once they have finished the introduction, you can write content 1 and content 2. Content 1 is school facilities, some not working and content 2 poor attendance. So, uh, there are two examples here. We can begin with first, firstly or first of all, the school facilities like the air conditioners in the library are broken. The ceiling in some classes are leaking and some of the toilets are also not working properly. Next, some classes also have poor attendance. There are many students who are absent especially on Monday. Second example, there are some school facilities that are damaged or not working well. For example, the broken air conditioners in the library leaking ceilings in some classes and dirty toilets. I also wish to call attention to students' poor attendance. Some classes had below 80% attendance for a few months. Now, for content 3, financial, no money to eat, and content 4, schoolwork not completed. So you can write, in addition, some students have financial problems. Their parents are in the low income category. These students do not have money to eat during recess. They often go hungry until school is over at 2 pm. There could be a sole breadwinner in the family or a parent with health problems who can no longer work. To make ends meet, students have to work or force to stop schooling. Moreover, problematic students do not complete their schoolwork, not due to any extra duties at home but they are just plain lazy. So, so breadwinner means the member of a family who earns uh, the money that the family needs. Okay, And then make ends meet means to have just enough money to pay for the things that you need. Here is another example for content 3 and content 4. Students from the low household income often face financial problems such as they are not able to pay school fees, buy workbooks or food. They have no money to eat during recess. There are also those who need to stay back for extra classes or co-curricular activities after school and therefore must have lunch in school. These pupils may not have enough pocket money for a decent recess time meal. With an empty stomach, a poor student will be tired and unable to focus in class. Meanwhile, some students have problems completing their schoolwork. They did not complete the work on time or often gave excuses that they had left the exercises at home. So decent here means socially acceptable or good. Now we are looking at content 5, low motivation and content 6, discipline not observed. There are two examples here. Some students have low motivation. They are not eager or do not show interest in their studies and they do not make effort to improve their results. There are also students who do not observe discipline in school. They flaunt rules like coming to school late or playing truant. Another example, there are students with low motivation as they are often not motivated to attend classes or play truant. They are always late to enter classes, especially the science and computer laboratories while others also do not observe school disciplines. Their school uniforms are without school badge or name tag or some wear school shoes without socks. Clay truant means a child who is regularly absent from school without permission. Plot is to intentionally not obey a rule, law or custom. And observe is to obey a law, rule or custom. Move on to content 7, 
we are now doing the suggestions. So C7 is check, repair facilities and C8 will be house visits. So this is an example here. I have some suggestions concerning the problems. The school authority should have regular checks and repair the faulty facilities. Maybe a committee which includes the teachers and workers could be formed to take charge. The school should also have house visits for the low income household group. These visits are also useful in assessing the living condition of these poor students and the types of help they need so that the school could assist them. So assess or assessing is to judge or decide the amount, value, quality or importance of something. So content 7 and 8, this is another example. There are several suggestions to curb this problem. Checking and repairing faulty facilities in school is a must as some items could be dangerous like exposed electrical switches, broken window glass and chairs. Then, the school could have house visits, especially to the poor students' houses. The school should have a list of these students and their needs. Some basic necessities like rice, flour and other food items, as well as stationeries, could be donated by the Parent Teacher Association or the Prefect could raise funds for the purpose of helping the poor students. Curb here means to control or limit something that is not wanted. Lastly, at content 9 and content 10, financial assistance could be given to poor students. The aids are school uniform or shoes and also stationery. The school can raise funds for the needy too. The money is to be used to buy necessities like rice, milk and others. I suggest the school and parent teacher association to organize a fundraising activity like a jogathon to assist these poor students. For the problematic students, the school can contact their parents. Some parents are not aware of their children's problem in school, as the children keep something to themselves as they are scared of being scolded or reprimanded by their parents. Reprimanded here means to express to someone your strong official disapproval of them. Here on C9 and C10, this is another example. Poor students should be given financial assistance as they are often deprived of things like a mobile phone or internet service at home. Maybe the school could work with the Parent Teacher Association to raise funds for the students and provide them with school uniforms, shoes and bags. Meanwhile, parents of the problematic students should be contacted as they need to know the troubles that their children are facing. They may be able to provide more information and also help their children. Deprive here means to take something, especially something necessary or pleasant, away from someone. Content 11 and 12 are your own ideas. Students with problems should attend counselling sessions in order to help them find solutions. The school could organise motivational camps or sessions. This could be done with the help of some organisations. A motivational camp can inspire and influence students to have higher motivation and interest in their studies. So inspire here is to make someone feel that they want to do something or can do it. We are still looking at content 11 and content 12. Counselling sessions could be held to help the problematic students. The school counsellors can give advice to the students. Motivation camp is one of the learning interventions to assist underperformed students in improving their academic performances. There are also organisations conducting motivation camps developed for students wishing to hone their leadership skills and build a personal awareness. The program consists of learning exercises like games, workshops, simulation sessions, mentoring and talks by experts that lead to a sense of empowerment and confidence. The school could invite these organisations to conduct a camp in the school especially during the school holidays. Hone here means to make something perfect or completely suitable for its purpose.
now we have reached the conclusion. So for the last paragraph, you can write your prompt attention to the above matters is greatly appreciated. B or you can write I would be grateful if you could take immediate action to rectify the problems. I hope you would take necessary actions to solve the problems faced by the students. I trust that you will take the necessary action to ensure that the students' problems could be solved. I urge the school authorities to take immediate action on the matters mentioned. So prom here is done without delay or immediate. Okay, and rectify is to correct something or make something right. We have come to the end of the lesson today. Just now we did a lesson on the SPM Tri paper for the year 2020 and it was paper from Johor. So thank you and do remember to like and subscribe to my channel. It is called Educator Omnitude. So I'm Teacher Gan signing off. Bye bye.